Hello, hello, daily love readings. So, guys, what is it? Today's the, like, the 19th? Yeah, Monday, October 19th. Um, these are general. They're not going to resonate with everybody. I've already got them all shuffled. I'm going to go um, fire, earth, water, air. Okay, I'm going to start with Aries. So, um, roles can be reversed. Cross watchers welcome. Um, time is very fluid. You know, whenever you're watching, this is when you're meant to. If it doesn't resonate for you, check another placement. Um, let's hop right in. Okay. And I'm also, I'm going to be writing down times as I go. So <clears throat> bear with me. We're going to pull a romance angel for you. And then we're going to clarify with tarot. Okay. So let's start with Aries. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So Aries, um, first of all, I feel like if you are waiting for someone specific to come in, okay, please remember that the universe is going to bring you the right person. Drop those expectations and just manifest for your higher good. Okay, so let's see what we get with this. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from, good Lord, from your usual type and expectations. Yeah, you are going to draw in the power that you're standing in right now. And I feel like for a lot of you, um, you're you're very strong, okay? You're kind of like fiercely independent. So you may very well um, draw in somebody that's the same, which is, is what the universe does, right? Somebody that will appreciate the hard work you've done, appreciate how far you've come, appreciate that you don't necessarily need anybody, but that you're ready and open to having someone, right? And here they come. Could be a water sign. Um, they're not coming super quickly, right? But they're coming. Um, they see you as quite a catch. They see you, you know, this Queen of Pentacles is, you know, very, um, that's one step up from the from the Nine of Pentacles, right? So they see you as, as very nurturing, very abundant, very prosperous, very um, able to handle your business, right? you're waiting or they're waiting. Somebody's like one of you already has your eye on the other one. Okay. Maybe from afar. Um, and they're being patient. I feel like this is them. They're being patient. Um, you're strong. You're fierce. You, you know, you might intimidate them a little bit, especially if they're a water sign. Um, I think they want to make sure this is not going to be for all of you, but I feel like they want to make sure that, um, something has ended before they come in right? Or that, that you're not still feeling the effects of something that once was, if that makes sense. Um, and again, this isn't going to resonate for everybody, but I feel like, I feel like they want to make sure you're good and single and you are, you are, um, you may have went through something that was pretty tumultuous, pretty difficult, pretty hard on you. Okay. And they want to make sure you're free of all of that energy, but they're coming. Okay. They're definitely, they're definitely coming. Um, and again, oh, and this one just got left. Okay. So yeah, they want to make sure that something has completely ended, that you've laid down some kind of burden or maybe that they've laid down the burden. Okay. But they're coming. They're coming right for you. I love that. That is for Aries. Okay. So I'm going to shuffle a few times and we'll move on to Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. I hope everybody is doing well today. I hope you are all safe and happy and healthy. <clears throat> One more shuffle for my fellow Leos. All right. So for Leo... Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. I feel like you guys feel like something is coming. Um, something is coming. You can feel it. I don't I don't necessarily know that um, this is, you know, the red flags are, are horribly bad in this case. I just feel like you guys feel like something is coming. I definitely feel something is coming. Um, and the universe is literally saying it's coming. Be ready. Right. Let's see what it is. Woo, and look at it coming. The chariot coming in hot, coming in super hot, coming in fast, quick, and in a hurry. Balanced energy. Somebody with laser focus set right on you, watching you, 
um, looking at you just ready to pounce, right? Um, yeah, they've been watching for a while. They've, they've known they've wanted to come towards you for a while. Um, I'm going to move these up here. I'm feeling all of a sudden I'm feeling very, um, anxious and a little, a little, um, like the need to get things in order. Okay. Almost like a nesting feeling. So here, here they come. They've been eyeballing you. They've been patient. They've sat on the sidelines, uh, maybe waiting for, for some other things in their life to happen or come to fruition before they come towards you. And now they are coming. They're coming. Yeah, they have waited for just the right time. They could have been juggling other people, other things, um, logistics, weighing their options, waiting for just the right time. I just feel like timing, timing, timing is, is everything. And you feel this energy. They have had to make sure either, I think this is, I think they have had to make some decisions to walk away from some people or places or things, right? Maybe they were in another relationship, but here they come. It's like they had to weigh it out, like logistically feel exactly, feel it out for the right time. My heart's pounding, guys. Yeah, watching, waiting, watching. And you could be watching them too if this is if this is somebody that's from your past or somebody you've had your eye on, right? But they've got their eye on you. They're, they're with this Seven of Pentacles and this Page of Swords, they have been waiting and watching and paying close attention. Could be a Pisces. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. Guys, this person is has waited for the exact right time, stayed in a, in a state of suspension, making sure that they don't lose focus on you, that they don't lose sight of you, that you don't go anywhere, okay? Making sure um, nothing changes, if that makes sense, okay? Pay, maybe watching you on social media while they worked out some shit in their life so that they could come forward. But they've been paying attention to you, watching you, and they want they want the real deal with you, okay? Wow. Woohoo. That was intense. That was intense for my Leos. Wowzers. Wow. Yeah. Six of cups when I cut the deck. Could be somebody you already know. Past life soulmate reconciliation. Take it as it resonates. All right. So we are going to move on to Sagittarius next. That was intense. All right, so let me just get all these shuffled. I like to feel like I'm in the right position before I go forward, so. All right, so Sagittarius, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I love that for you guys. Um... Because we do attract when we are happy in our and within ourselves, with our situation, with our surroundings, right? When we um, are loving ourselves and loving life and enjoying ourselves and enjoying um, our life, that's when we get somebody with that same energy. <clears throat> Excuse me, my allergies, guys. I live in the Midwest and these allergies right now with all these farmers doing all their harvesting is kicking my butt. All right, attraction. King of Swords. Hold on. <laughs> okay, excuse me. So the Queen of Swords fell out when I was getting ready to shuffle. So you have set down some healthy boundaries. You are, um, you know, you are moving on from a kind of a conflicted past. You've been guarded for a long time, but, you, you know, you finally decided to... Um, just lay down some healthy boundaries and see what happens. You want somebody that's going to speak the truth to you because you're going to speak the truth to them. But you're also um, open to someone to someone coming towards you. Um, but I don't feel like you are <clears throat> like on the hunt, right? You're just like, I think I'm finally okay with this. I think it's going to be all right. I'm in a good place. And you are. Yeah, you've um, you've done a lot of work, right? You've done a lot of work, and I think this person that's going to come towards you has has also. I feel like they um, 
They too have had to make some hard decisions in their life, walk away from some things that maybe they they didn't want to walk away from, but they but they knew that they had to. Um, and and I feel like they've laid down some healthy boundaries as well. We've got a lot of air energy here, so you could have some heavy air in your chart. Um, but this could just be the energy that you're in right now, and that's okay. And this person coming in is matching this energy. Like I said, this person coming in. Um, has gone through similar things and has really worked to get through them and is a soulmate for you. And here they come. Could be a cancer. Um, doesn't have to be, guys. Take it as it resonates, okay? But that chariot energy, they're feeling very balanced. They're feeling very focused. You know, like this king of swords is very, very focused. Um, knows where he's been and where he doesn't want to go back to, right? Laying down those healthy boundaries. Being very balanced in this situation. And the, and you're in this, you're in the same... You're in that same energy. And here they come. Wow, look at that. So they could be traveling. They could be from far away. They could just be, um, you know, maybe you guys are going to start communicating back and forth, texting, Facebooking, whatever, whatever the kids are doing these days, right? The Snapchat, the TikTok, whatever it is. <laughs> But they're they're coming right they're coming right for you okay they're coming right for you and you're matching this energy yeah they want a relationship you guys have although okay so you guys have both the moon on the bottom of the deck you guys have both faced you know kind of the darkness um, and learned a lot it's like the the school of life right you've learned a lot and you're ready for for something committed um, but I feel like this person you guys are really kind of mirroring each other could be a twin flame doesn't have to be um, but. What you seek seeks you. Okay, so you you guys are are in this energy, this beautiful energy of loving yourself, having gone through some lessons, you've set some healthy boundaries, you're ready for somebody to come in. You've learned a lot. It's like the school of life is what I'm getting from this card. Okay, so I love that for you guys, my Sagittarians. Okay, <clears throat> so let's do a few shuffles and we'll start the Earth signs with Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. God, my thing is scooting all over today. Okay. All right. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. All right. Taurus, calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Okay, what just fell out? So, it's going to be a lot of passion. Wow, okay, stuff is just falling out. There's going to be a lot of passion. Um, you guys might even um, sort of passionately bicker back and forth, if that makes sense. You know, like on... on uh, TV shows when you see somebody arguing and then all of a sudden they start kissing. I feel like that's going to be the kind of passion. And we confirm that with this Knight of Wands, okay? There's going to be a lot of... You guys might not even agree on a lot of things, but somehow it just works. Somehow it just works, okay? Nine of Swords... I think you're worried that you're you're not going to find somebody. You're starting to feel a little defeated, but but they're coming. Okay, wow. This is a lot of fire, guys. They're coming. Could be. I mean, it certainly could be a fire sign if you do not have a lot of fire in your chart. But somebody that feels um, very very passionate about you, right? Aries, Leo, or Sag. Just I, I just feel like you guys are getting a fire sign. Somebody that's ready to that. You know, this Queen of Wands is the warrior queen of the deck. Right. And she may very well passionately bicker. Right. Because she's got a lot to say and she she likes to get her way, but she's not going to hurt you to get it. Right. I feel like you two may very well, you know, with your with your earthy stubbornness, you know, you guys may very well um, passionately bicker, if that makes sense. But this person is going to really restore a lot of passion back into your life after a time where you've been alone for a while, maybe worried that nobody was going to come in. Um, keep the faith guys. Okay. Don't stress. Don't fear. Just connect with the universe and let them know you're still here. You're not going to see them coming though. Cause you're so stressed out about it. <laughs> you poor thing. <laughs> yeah. You're not even going to see this person coming. They're going to hit you like a Mack truck. They are going to hit you like a Mack truck. 
going to be a good wish fulfillment for you. You're going to get your person and they're going to get theirs, right? Um, yeah, I feel like you don't even see it coming. But this is the universe telling you to keep working, okay? Keep visualizing. Visualiz I, I can't talk. Visualizing. Visualizing. Good gravy. Keep working. Keep praying. Keep opening up lines of communication with yourself and spirit because you've, this person is coming in for you. Beautiful, beautiful energy. You poor things. <laughs> Oh, okay. So we're going to move on to Virgo. Let's shuffle if I can. Dude, I'm just struggling today, guys. Your card went flying. All right. Okay, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Okay, Virgo. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yes. I feel like you've been through a lot in the past. Um, you may be worried that this person that's, that's in your life or coming towards you um, for a lot of you, you already know this person. You may already even be in a in a situationship with this person, but you're afraid to get hurt, and um, that's that's kind of keeping you from going forward like you would like to, or like they would like you to. Um, but I do not feel like this person is going to hurt you. I feel like this person cares about you a great deal. And I also feel like this person wants you to be happy and understands that you've been hurt. Okay, and, and I feel like they are going to fiercely, fiercely protect you. Yeah, look at that, the sun. Like, I almost don't even need to pull any more cards, right? This person is your happiness and you're theirs. It is okay for you to expose yourself and be vulnerable and feel their love because they do love you. They're not going to hurt you. Wow, the sun and the star. Wow, wow, wow. It is totally safe for you to open up to this person. This is the, the perfect person for you. The sun and the star, those are amazing cards together, guys. And both of them, it's okay for you to be vulnerable, okay? It is okay for you to open up. They're, it's it's safe. This person is not gonna, is not gonna do to you um, the things that the people in your past have done to you, okay? Yeah, you're feeling a little bit closed off. You know, he's, this this four of cups, this person is sitting here by themselves, not wanting to take this cup, you know, arms crossed, legs crossed, afraid, maybe. I feel like you're just afraid. Um, and the universe is telling you, do not be afraid. You do not have to be afraid. This is the person that I've sent for you. This is the person, you know, the universe is literally telling you, don't be guarded. Don't be closed off. It is safe. You're safe. You're safe. This person loves you. Um, you don't have to go quickly, but but get in the boat, right? Get in their boat and go because it's the right person. The universe is literally telling you that this is a person they have sent directly towards you, directly for you. Yeah. Go ahead and get on that horse, right? Take that pinnacle. It's safe. There's nothing bad is going to happen. This is the right person for you. Yeah, nothing bad's going to happen, guys. This is going to change your life, though. This tower moment's not going to be a scary one. It's going to be a, um, I mean, it might be a little scary, especially if you're worried about getting hurt, but this person is literally going to, to, um, to break away all of those, all of those fears, all of those doubts, all of those insecurities and allow you to, um, build something with them that is strong and beautiful, right? This sun and this star, that's gorgeous energy, guys. Gorgeous energy. All right. So our next one will be Capricorn. Let's get some shuffles. <clears throat> All right. All right. Let's see. 19. Oh, okay. Capricorn reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. I was just thinking just like as I was shuffling about this Mercury retrograde being a little bit different. Um, you know, a lot of times exes will return, but maybe not uh, in the right energy. But this Mercury retrograde feels very different to me. Okay, feels very different, especially with this 
this new moon in Libra energy that we've got, it just feels very different to me. So this person that's coming back is the right person for you, okay? This person has always been in your energy, whether you were together or not. You've never really been apart, okay? This is probably a past life soulmate. Um, could be a twin flame, but I do feel like you have spent lifetimes together with this person. And here they come wanting a new beginning, wanting a new opportunity with you, right? Um, having some, some important things to say also. Um, yeah. Could be a, a Taurus or an Aries. Um, but this is them really wanting to... Um, to come in and take control, not in a bad way, to really erase mistakes from the past and win this time. Okay. They, they just, they want to win this time. They're not, they're not here looking to break your heart or looking for another heartbreak. They're here for a brand new beginning and they want to win. Yep. Look at that. They want to win. You can't make this up guys. They want to win. They want this success with you, this victory with you. They almost want to like come in and, and sweep you off your feet. Right. And they, they, they're tired of, of not being with their person. Yeah. They're, um, they're tired of being in their thoughts about it. They're ready to come forward. They're tired of thinking about you all the time. Um, and, and guarding their heart from anybody else that ever came near them because they didn't want anybody else but you, right? They didn't want anybody else but you. Um, they had some things, I feel like they had some kind of dark night of the soul things to go through. Perhaps you did too. Um, but they've held a huge space for this relationship. Okay. A huge space for this relationship. Yeah. Somebody from the past, they miss you. I feel like you miss them too. Like the five of cups to me, yes, it is, you know, crying over spilled milk, but it can also be, you know, I missed you so much. I almost died, right? Like I just couldn't focus on anything but what we have. I didn't want anything else. I didn't want anyone else. I just wanted you. And here they're ready for balance, for reciprocity, for equal give and take. Um, they, they want this to work. Okay. We've got two sixes. They want this to work. They want this to be even, okay? And again, you know, this Hierophant today feels like the school of life to me, okay? It feels like you guys both have done a lot of a lot of um, growing and learning, right, from experiences that you've been in since you haven't been together. But here they come. I mean, this tells you everything you need to know right here. Look at this. Your emperor is coming, and they want victory. They want success. They want a brand new beginning. This is somebody that you've been with in the past, whether it's this lifetime or not, and they want victory this time. And they're not going to take anything less, okay? So neither should you. All right, let's get a few shuffles, and we'll go to our water signs, starting with Cancer. Oops. Perfect. All right. We've got 2258. Cancer, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So again, this retrograde feels very different. It, instead of having people um, kind of like crawling in a hole, waiting for it to be over, it's like you're sticking the, your heads out of that little hole in the ground, right? You're like, well, this feels different. W wanting to go out and, and um, explore things, right? And, and also, I think the situation in the world, you know, with this, with um, with everything we've got going on, especially here in the United States, um, regardless of where you're from, but people have been a little bit worried to socialize, a little bit, a little bit worried to go out into the world. Um, so, you know, we're using alternate ways. You know, a lot of people are doing online dating that haven't before. Um, but whatever this is, is, you know, you're ready to kind of like stick your head out, see what's going on out there, right? You feel, you have felt conflicted in the past. Um, like it's going to be nothing but trouble if you try and get into a relationship. But right now your feelings are real and worth exploring. You're ready to move past that, that conflict that you, I think you've just had a lot of conflicted feelings about, about wanting to date, wanting to meet someone. Um, 
And here we have this, this justice card. We're still in that energy of the new moon in Libra, right? The universe is telling you this is, this is safe. This is okay. Um, you're going to get some balanced energy this time. It's not going to be, it's not going to be chaos. You can trust the feelings that you have. You can trust your gut, right? Um, judgment. This is, could be a wake up call for you. Like you are ready to get out there. And I feel like this person that, um, that may be coming into your life could be somebody from the past. Um, we are in retrograde, right? With this judgment card, but this time it's going to be very balanced. And this past person, it doesn't necessarily always mean reconciliation from this life. It could be a past past life person. Like this is just a rebirthing of, of some energy, right? Energy that, you know, that you thought was dead and the fool tried to flip out. You're going to get a wish. This is very divinely guided. So the universe is saying, go ahead and, and step outside. It's okay to feel vulnerable this time. Um, it's okay for you to want companionship. You've got somebody that feels the same way. Wow, all this major arcana. You're closing out a cycle of... Um, of healing and of, you know, you've done a lot of work and now you're ready to go forward and find a, you know, find somebody to be with. Jeez, guys. Okay. So we've got, we've got justice, judgment, the star, the world, and the wheel of fortune. This is, this is big energy. Okay. Whatever you are feeling like, however, whatever I, this 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 sense that you have that you're ready to be in a relationship, the universe is saying uh, about time. Get on with the getting on. Stop standing still and feeling conflicted about it with this five of wands and get out there because this is, I mean, you have five major arcana. What's on the bottom of the deck? Eight of wands. The universe is saying get out there, okay? Whoever is coming in, if you've already met them, get busy with it. If you haven't met them, get out there. They're waiting on you. They're literally at the end of the street just waiting for you to stick your head out the door. Okay? Get out there. Get going. You have closed a cycle of some healing. You are, the universe is, is the wheel is turning in your favor. Get out there. Okay? Get out there. Wow. That was a very, a very um, <laughs> forthright message. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. It's kind of a bossy message for cancer, but that's okay. It comes from a place of love. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, 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 what time is it? <clears throat> All right, Scorpio, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So if you've been waiting for someone, um, King of Cups just tried to flip over. So there you were in your own damn reading. Um, and the Emperor, geez. All right, hold on. These cards got something to say. Let me, let's find out what it is before I open my mouth. All right, King of Wands, looking right at this, release your ex. It's like, stop fighting for that energy and fight for yourself. Stop fighting for a past person. Fight for yourself. Work on yourself. If you want the right person to come in, let go of, of whatever is holding you back, whatever you're waiting on, whatever you're focused on, maybe whatever you're obsessed about, okay? And start fighting for yourself and doing some work. Because if you want to be with somebody, uh, you've got you've got to really put the effort into healing yourself and going forward. The universe has someone for you, right? The universe has someone for you. They're just waiting for you to get your shit together. <laughs> I mean, sorry, Scorpio. They're just waiting for you to get your shit together, okay? I feel like you've done a lot of repeating relationships. Like, you've been in these relationships that have ended the same way, the sa like these same um, patterns and cycles because you haven't, you haven't healed from, you know, this ex that broke your heart that you've been trying to recapture that same energy. Well, if it's not working. Let it go, okay? The universe has somebody for you. They're waiting to send this person in. They're waiting for you to do this work. They're, you know, and this person is is waiting on you. Okay, they're in the they're in the energy of you know I'm ready for somebody to come my way. It's just that their person who is you 
is got some work to do. You need to fight for yourself. There you are. You need to fight for, you know, loving yourself, holding yourself in high regard, doing the work to get past the hurt and the pain of the past, right? And really love yourself and really and really move forward. This lover's card, guys, is about, um, you know, yes, it's about a soulmate. OK, it's also about a choice. It's about choosing to be vulnerable, to move forward from your past um, and let spirit in to heal you and send you the right person. OK, it's about a choice. There is someone out there for you, but they want you to fight for yourself, love yourself, do this work so that they can send this person in. OK, so that's what you've got, Scorpio. Release your ex. And this isn't even just about a person. Release past relationships past disappointments, okay, so that you can go forward because the universe has someone for you, all right? All right, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. Okay. Okay. Pisces. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So I feel like, hold on. Okay. You are really worried about money. I don't feel like you need to be. Yeah, you've got the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups came out. You don't need to be. You um, can go forward with whatever this, whatever is going on with you um, because you have enough to, to give, all right? It is the right time. I feel like you've held back maybe because you were worried that, um, you, you know, you didn't make enough money or you weren't good enough or, or whatever, but you are, okay? You are. You um, are strong and independent and... You can directly go from the Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups, right? Yep, you've done the healing. You've done the work. It may not feel like you have if it's been a short time in between relationships. I feel like you already have your eye on someone. I feel like you have come out of a situation that um, you're worried left you with too little to offer someone. And I also feel like um, it was a pretty lengthy... You were you you just are coming out of a relationship that was a, that was a Ten of Cups... You're worried you don't have enough to give to this next relationship, but you do. You already have your eye on someone um, that you want a new beginning with. This is a person from your past, okay? This is a person from your past. They're mirroring your energy. You guys have been together before. It was not the right time. Um, you got into another relationship um, just because it felt safer. It, it, it just felt safer. But this is your divinely guided person that you're getting ready to go back to, that you're getting a new beginning with, that you're getting the Ten of Cups with, that you've wanted the Ten of Cups with. They've been on your mind the whole time you've been apart. You both have done the healing and now it's time for a new beginning. Wow. The Star, the Fool, and the Ace of Pentacles. That's beautiful energy, guys, right? It's like you're hoping to go forward with this person. You... You're worried they're not going to think you're enough, but they are. They they're going they they love you too. They do. They love you too. They have worked through their own their own issues, right? Their own issues. You're worried that you're making a mistake or that they're not going to love you or that they're not going to accept you. It's a fire sign. Aries Leo Sag. So, you um you know, you're you're like Maybe you're worried they're not going to believe you that you have exited this other relationship before you come forward. All right. So they're kind of looking at you. Look, he's like looking at, at this like, you know, I really want to believe that you're single. So um, I think that that's really going to be your only issue is trying to make this person truly believe that you're ready now, that you want this now, that you are ready to move forward with them. Um, because I feel like they have always wanted you also, and you just weren't ready. You weren't available. You've both done a lot of inner work, a lot of shadow work, a lot of healing. Um, and now it's time for this new beginning. It's past time. 
for this new beginning, right? Reconciliation. Here you are, Pisces. Reconciliation. Uh, after being confused about what you want, this person has waited for you. And here's this Queen of Wands. Good God, you guys can't even make this up. Okay, so... Um, Here's this card of reconciliation. You are going to have to work to really reassure them that you're you're ready this time, that you're in it to win it this time, that you want this beginning with them. All of this opportunity is here for you. Ten of Cups, the Star, the Fool, the Ace of Pentacles. You guys are ready for one another, right? Here's 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 your card, Pisces. You've been confused for a long time. You're not anymore. You know what you want. This person is a catch. This person is a fire sign. Um, it's going to be balanced. It's going to be um, reciprocal this time, right? You guys have both done the work to get past these past the, the heartbreak of the past, and here you come, right? Strong enough, ready for this re reconciliation. You are going to have to speak your truth because they're going to think about it for a while. They're not, they want to be convinced. This is a twin, this is a twin flame. This is a twin flame between a Pisces and a Leo. This is a reconciliation of a twin flame between a Pisces and a Leo. I, it doesn't get, I, this is very, very exact. I get it. Okay, but that's what it is. All right. Wow. Okay, guys. That was sure interesting, wasn't it? So who do we have next? We've got our air signs, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. I want to shuffle these really well. We just did kind of a mini reading there. We're going to start with Aquarius. All right. So Aquarius, 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 heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with one another. So you two... You're holding back. I feel like this person and you um, definitely need to have some kind of a conversation. What about, about going forward? If you haven't met this person yet, um, the universe is telling you to very openly and honestly um, discuss what you want from a relationship at this time. I mean, don't like totally scare them away, but, you know, just, just discuss, you know, where you're coming from and what you're ready for. Um, laying boundaries down, right? You're you're ready for um, a serious relationship. You want a commitment. This Queen of Pentacles is a wife, a mother, right? She's like that maternal head of the household. She's beautiful and abundant, and and she's successful. And you're ready for somebody that can match that energy. Okay. You're ready to go forward. Um, and you're ready to fight for it. So this seven of wands, you want someone that feels the same way. You don't want to struggle, you know, swim upstream with somebody that doesn't want the same things that you want. You don't want to waste time. You're ready. You're ready to go forward it, with a new beginning with someone, right? A new emotional beginning. And the universe is telling you, just be honest about that. Speak your mind um, because the right person wants the same things and they're going to be all in. And I think this person, if you have not met them already, they're coming in hot. Or you're going after them. Remember, energies can be reversed. Yep, it's your person. This is your person. And I feel like you're worried that you're going to speak your mind and scare them off. The right person, your person, is going to feel the same way. They're going to want the same things. And they're going to choose you. Yeah, you um, don't want to waste your time on something, Ace of Swords, bottom of the deck. So speak your truth, okay? The right person is not going to leave you out in the cold. If this person, if somebody rejects you, you know, if you're dating or whatever and you speak your mind and this person is like, whoa, that's not your person, move on. Just move on, okay? Literally, move on because the right person is coming. Wow, speak your truth, right? Really make them hear you. So you can get this new beginning because you've you've waited long enough. You're ready to take this pinnacle and turn it into something beautiful, something that makes you truly happy. Wow. Okay. That was a good one, Aquarius. That was a good one. 
Loving it, loving it. <sighs> so we have Libra and Gemini left. All right, Libra. So, codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. Well, that's no bueno. Let's see what this is about. Now, codependency addictions, that can be anything, guys. That can be anything. It doesn't have to be drugs or alcohol, okay? It could be anything. Ineffective coping mechanisms, right? Shopping eating, gambling, um, whatever. It, it can be literally anything, okay? We all have ineffective coping mechanisms. Yeah, you're, you, you've been waiting, but this person isn't going to come in until um, you, either you or them have kind of cleared up this, this ineffective coping mechanism, this, this method of coping that's not successful, um, you already know what you need to change. This could be something that you're kind of keeping secret from the world, but, you know, the universe sees it and, and it's keeping you from being happy. It's keeping you from living your fullest life. It's keeping your ships from coming in, right? They're, they're, you can see them. You know what you want. You know what you want out of life. You know how you want to go forward. Um, yeah, you just need to cut something out so that you can. And once you do that, it's going to move very quickly. Your life is going to, Wow. Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, right? So once you once you get rid of this this whatever this is, I don't care what it is, I don't care what it is, guys. Once you get a handle on it and you cut it out of your life, and you're gonna you're gonna start moving forward very very quickly. Um, with this Ten of Pentacles and this King of Pentacles, there is something like right there waiting for you. You may already even be talking to this person. They could be a water sign, but you are. <sighs> yeah, you already know what this is, guys. I feel, I mean, yeah, you, you, you've you got, you need to stand in your highest power. You need to believe in yourself. Believe that you can be beautiful and abundant without whatever this is. Okay. Um, eight of cups, bottom of the deck. Um, leaving behind things that are not in your best interest, right? Um, and once you do that, it's really going to come together quickly. You already know what this is. It could just be, it could be anything from like overthinking, um, to like obsession to, you know, eating, gambling, drinking, smoking, whatever it is. Okay. Whatever it is. I feel like you already know what it is and you just need to surrender to the universe. Just relinquish this, this, you know, give it to God because once you do, once you cut it out, things are going to come in very quickly for you. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. So last, last sign. Gemini, Gemini. Ooh, well, that didn't want to shuffle, did it? Gemini, Gemini. Okay, Gemini, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Ain't that the truth? So you guys are really um, in the middle of a very important lesson. You're learning that um, things start coming to you. Things start start um, coming together. The more you heal, the more you um, deal with with your past and, and forgive and move forward, right? Things really come together as you heal the past and release it, right? Five of wands. God, a lot of people have gotten that. So it's like this, it doesn't do you any good to hang on to this conflict, this chaos, this, you know, whatever, that change will happen quickly once you release it, once you let it go, once you get past it, right? And you've learned that. 
Um, you have learned that it's uncomfortable to change, but it's necessary and it helps you move forward. You see things differently now, okay? You're understanding this, the universal energy, right? And and this is you, I think, um, you know, she's looking at this pinnacle and she's kind of like longing, but you're, you're understanding that it's really just been you that's held you up all this time, right? You not not um, learning what you need to learn and forgiving what you need to forgive and going forward. And now you've it's like you've got this aha, like I got it, like I figured it out. And you're moving forward now. You're get, you're past that that energy of that standing still, right? You're listening to your intuition. You've got a direct line of communication with spirit. You're ready to see things through from beginning to end, and and you're ready to move forward. You feel enlightened. You've done this work, this this work of really trying to see what you need to do to move forward and the universe is going to reward you right this is literally just nothing but confirmation that you are learning you are forgiving and you are understanding that that's what's going to set you free wow so <laughs> when i said you know you're having this epiphany this aha there it is king of pentacles bottom of the deck right Somebody is is waiting in the wings for you and you've done this work and you're moving towards them and they're moving towards you. Um, and I feel like, you know, you both have kind of learned this lesson about about, you know, forgiving yourself and others from the past, letting go of that heartbreak, learning what you need to learn and then just letting it go. Right. Just letting it go so that it doesn't affect your future because we can't carry around that baggage forever. And you literally are like, aha, <laughs> I get it. I get it. And when you do that, there's your person. Right. Here's you learning and growing, right? After being at a standstill for so long, your happiness coming in, you're ending this cycle. You don't have to stress about it anymore. You've done the work, right? You've walked away from the things you need to, and here's your new beginning. It's almost like I'm psychic. <laughs> all right, guys, that's what I've got for you all. I love you all so much. Love me back. Um, please subscribe and like. And if you want to book a personal reading, that will be in the description box below. Um, and I will see you tomorrow.